Hey guys, Coach John here with Case Academy. Uh, we're going to go over another aqua bag series. So we've got the horseshoe version. You can do a straight version as well. So what we're trying to do with this one, um, again, with the aqua bag, it's kind of create some instability. It's going to force you, it's going to make you work harder uh, to try to stay balanced, to stay in your line. So what we're going to do here is he's going to go through his leg kick. And as he lands, he, we're really trying to focus on delaying um, that back hip. We're, we're really going to try to hold it and ride it, so to speak. And then from there, once we land, we're really trying to focus on landing and some hip to shoulder separation. And then we want to really try to drive sequentially from the ground up where he's going to basically try to rotate into that lead hip, create a slosh in the bag, and we're going to recoil and again, try to brace. So start all the way over for me, Reed. You're going to, he's basically going to go through his leg kick, land into the uh, uh, front, front foot strike, and he's going to be conscious to make sure that the lower half goes first. A couple more reps lands, lower half goes, then upper half goes with it, trying to create a slosh. Really good. Um, some of the things we see some of our young guys really struggle with, go ahead and land again. We really see guys kind of struggle. So he's still got some hip to shoulder separation. One of the things we talk about is your center fielder still being able to see your chest, your throwing arm chest. Sometimes if there was a PVC pipe, he's still kind of facing this way, which would indicate some good hip to shoulder separation. We see guys land like this a lot, which means they've really kind of lost their, their hip to shoulder separation and they lose their ability to kind of hold that power back. And so that would be a leak. And then now when he lands like that, it's much harder to create much of a slosh in the bag. So really trying to emphasize as we ride down the slope, holding our vertical shin, creating hip to shoulder separation, having something left to punch with. And then as we begin to punch, make sure we're punching from the lower half. So one more rep from Reed here. Perfect. That is the Aqua Bag series.